foul him or watch him score. Mintz gets by Ziegler up top to Shebley. What a great drive by Davion Mintz who has been at his best the last three games. And there's some of that top in athleticism. Even though they're older, they're not yet older together. It's older group, much older group than he typically has. That's the oldest team they've ever had. Yeah. Great cut. And the bucket for Chandler on the feed from Plotchin. Not only Tennessee fans, but Rick Barnes and the rest of the coaching staff as well. Just a great competitor and super tough. Back cut, Ty Ty Washington. Good ball pressure on Bescovy. He needs some help. Finally gets it over, over. but in a tough spot, and it's turned over. Wheeler to Lance Ware for the flush. Both of them play the game with a maturity beyond their years. It, it, no question. But the smarts is really impressive. Count it for Davion Mintz. It's 10 of his first 37 from three. He's 11 of his last 20. And that, when you... Chandler burst to speed oh. and high off the glass and good. He's more of a catch and shoot guy, so defenses are trying to run him off that line. He'll get a look here and he'll bury it. The assist to John Fulkerson from the field. I know you've got ice cream. You can grunt once if you approve, twice if you disapprove. Well, a lot of that has been their defensive intensity. What a grab. Wow. What a grab. Chopping over Ziegler. A little horn set right now for Kentucky. Wheeler the jumper. Top in the rebound. Mince the flush. Wow. The secondary is secondary and sometimes tertiary defender. Love when you use the word tertiary. Brooks. Just you never get beyond tertiary. What's next? You don't need to. Chandler somehow got that pass through, but eventually stolen away. Thought Brooks was going to get the first one, but he got the second one. And the right guy in the right spot. He is just a playmaker, shot maker. Josiah Jordan James, yes, at the buzzer for the ball. Boy, what a great answer by Tennessee. But with Washington in the game, and you put in Davion Mintz, now all of a sudden you got to extend your defense. Kennedy Chandler bangs home a three. You don't handle that pick and roll situation. He pulls up and knocks down the shot. He's got everything. Tom with a step in, good cut by Vescovy. Played for his country in the summer for Uruguay in an Olympic qualifier. Corner three for Grady and a chance for one more. Spot off the drive. He was much higher on the floor and just repositioned himself. Then he was much tougher. In Kellen Grady, there are a lot of good pieces on this Kentucky team. Here they come again. Brady shovels it to Wheeler. Ty Washington has taken over this game. Great job to reach behind and tap that away, then runs right to the three-point line. Wheeler and was able to stick with the play and knock that ball away from Vescovy. That was a great defensive play by Ty Ty Washington. Vescovy banks it home to the other end. If you're just joining us, Kentucky making quite the statement so far today. 67 points, four minutes into the second half. Come on the nice feed from Powell and they're looking to back cut Best could be the spin and it's blocked by Brady great defensive play two up top two in the corners So you roll off the first one easy bucket Wheeler with a beautiful left-handed bounce pass into top it A 10 on the season, a 10 on the game, excuse me. 10th yeah. rebound in the game for Shibway. He wouldn't be a very good rebounder no. if it was 10 no. on the season. Well, with the Wildcats playing like this against a very good team in Tennessee, you start to wonder what team can they not beat with this type of play? Difficulties throughout the course of the season, but I thought he was at his best against Colorado, where he's just a connector. 18th turnover committed by the balls, and it's a run out at the other end. And that pass ahead just outpaced the defense and just a really smart pass. He came here a week later and became one of the first assistants here 
very legendary story, and Joe B. Hall deserves a lot of credit. Immediately signed a black player in his first freshman class, Reggie Warford. They didn't handle the last several minutes of the game very well. In fact, they got outscored 16 to nothing to end the game, and he was none too happy about it. Wants to see his team finish this one off. Right thing at the right time to the best of your ability throughout the course of the game. Take a guess, Jay, what you think the fast break points are in this game. Oh, I'd say... I'll give you a hint. It's, it's a lot to a little. 36 to 10. <laughs> it is 27 to nothing, according to our stats monitor. Well, it depends on yeah. how you count fast yeah. break, but... Well, if I didn't give it to him, he'd grab it with both hands and take it anyway. 24-point <laughs> lead. Make it 27. Boy, when Kentucky shoots the ball like this, forget it. And there have been times in the past, as Huntley Hatfield lays one in, where Kentucky's had a lot of ability, but they haven't had a lot of great three-point shooting. Chandler left open. And Plavchich with a chance for a three-point play on the season. Allen up top, and Collins couldn't corral it. And Chandler in the game right to the very end for Tennessee. Plavchich misses the dunk. Dabunje will get a bucket, and that'll be that. What a performance by the catch. John Calipari's got to be thrilled. Kentucky was absolutely fabulous. What a great building block for the rest of the season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.